Hi, welcome to Electrical Info YouTube channel. Subscribe our channel and share. Today we learn about Trip Circuit Supervision TCS Relay Working Function and Operation. Trip circuit supervision monitors and indicates the healthiness of the breaker's tripping circuit and indicates whether or not the circuit breaker will trip at a fault. If the relay shows a faulty trip circuit, then the user can switch off the breaker at normal load and attend the problem. If not attended and during that time a fault happens in the circuit, then the breaker will not trip and it may cause severe damage to the electrical system. A breaker is used to switch on and switch off the circuit. The breaker must trip in case of a fault in the electrical network. In order to perform the closing, opening, and tripping operation, a breaker has two coils namely the closing coil and the tripping coil. The tripping of the breaker in the event of a fault is a must to safeguard the electrical network and the equipment connected to the outgoing side of the breaker. The healthiness of the tripping circuit should be always intact to get the tripping of the breaker without fail. The trip circuit supervision of the breaker always checks the healthiness of the breaker's tripping circuit. The tripping circuit of the breaker has mainly a 110 volts DC tripping coil, 110 volts DC source, and the 110 volts DC to tripping coil connecting wires. If the tripping circuit is healthy the breaker will definitely trip in the case of the fault. The basic circuit diagram of the trip circuit supervision is given below. Next we learn about trip circuit supervision relay working function. The trip circuit supervision relay has three coils KM1, KM2, and TCS. To limit the current through KM1 and KM2 relay coils, resistance R is added. The relay monitors the healthiness of the trip circuit in the breaker in closed and open conditions. According to this, the trip circuit supervision function can be divided into two categories. One. Pre-close trip circuit supervision. 2. Post-close circuit supervision. Next we learn about pre-close trip circuit supervision. Pre-close means breaker status before closing. The breaker is open in pre-close condition. Thus, the status of breaker contact 52. A is open in contact 52. B is close. In this condition, current through the trip circuit is as given. When a breaker is in open condition, the current does not flow through 52 a contact. Current finds its path through breaker auxiliary NC contact, KM2 and KM1. Thus current flowing through KM1 and KM2 energizes both the relay. The positive supply routes through the contact of KM1 and KM2 and energizes the trip coil supervision relay. The NC contact of TCS gets NO and no enunciation window glow in this case. This shows that the trip circuit supervision circuit is healthy. If both KM1 and KM2 relays do not operate, the TCS relay will not operate, and the contact of TCS will remain in the NC state. The window enunciation will glow in this case and, it shows that either supply is missing or trip coil is open or there is a defect in the wiring of the trip circuit supervision circuit. Next we learn about post-close trip circuit supervision. Post-close means that breaker is closed. The current through the contact 52A and 52B in trip coil is as given. Current will flow through the breaker auxiliary contact 52A in trip coil, and the relay KM1 will energize. The NO contact of KM1 will become NC and it will energize the TCS relay. The contact of TCS will get open and the enunciation window shows no fault. In case of a fault in the supply system, KM1, trip coil, and wiring, the contact of KM1 will remain in an open state and thus the TCS will be inoperative. The NC contact of TCS output the contact to the enunciation window which shows the breaker's trip circuit is faulty.